John. You're definitely, you're definitely going to want to stick around for tonight's show, John, because yes. uh, we yes. got two amazing guests tonight. Two gingers, actually. Kenneth Branagh uh -huh. and Ellie Kemper are both here. Oh, yeah. Tonight. That's a great show. Not together, great but energy. both both here tonight. Yes. Ha it, you, it hasn't come out yet, but it's, a, it's about to come out. Branagh's new movie, Belfast, is extraordinary. Oh, you've seen it. I have seen it. It's unbelievably beautiful. It's both funny and sad mm -hmm. at the same time. Mm. It's the most Irish movie I've ever seen. <laughs> yes, yes. Highly recommend it. You know, folks, I spent a lot of time right over there compiling the most current geometry questions, sprinkling in a topical set of data analyses, folding them together along the newsworthiest word problems, then pairing all of that with the day's most pressing reading passages to collate for you the perf perfectly calibrated, bespoke SAT test that is my monologue. But <laughs> sometimes, just sometimes, I huff a pile of salvia and stagger into a landfill where I forage for crusty old Sudokus, grab a sack full of used and wet Mad Libs, and crazy glue them into the spine of a discarded Reader's Digest I found in a burnout Walden books to <laughs> present to you the illegible hobo BuzzFeed quiz of news that is my segment. There it is. That's a shot in the arm. That is a shot in the arm for this nation. <laughs> Meanwhile, according to new research, it turns out exercise isn't as likely to ruin your knees as you thought. Well, then stop researching. <laughs> That's my go-to excuse. Someone says, hey, let's get some exercise. All you have to say is, can't. Knees. <laughs> then they leave you on the couch cuddling with your can of Ready Whip. <laughs> Meanwhile, Eating fat can lower your stroke risk, a new study says, as long as it's the right kind. I will not read the study. I will assume it's cheesecake. <laughs> and I will move on. <laughs> not very fast because of the cheesecake. <laughs> and of course, the knees. <laughs> Meanwhile, friends, most of the time, a headline is pretty easy to navigate for any of us, but sometimes it's a journey through a terrifying jungle of words, concepts, and imagery, and it's easy for one to get lost. Now, our next headline is a doozy, but don't be scared. We're going to parse it together. So buckle up, because meanwhile, a stripper named Pole Assassin who hooked up with a University of Texas Longhorns football coach shortly after he left his wife and three kids is defending her emotional support monkey after it was accused of biting a child at a Halloween haunted house. <laughs> okay. Everybody take a deep breath. We're through it, okay? We're through. We're gonna get through this together. The key is just take this headline in small bites. I'm your meanwhile mama bird. I'm going to preach you the headline, spit it into your mouth. Here we go. <laughs> First, there's a stripper called Pole Assassin. <laughs> Obviously, that's a stage name. Her real name is Paula Assassinowski. <laughs> Next, she hooked up with the University of Texas Longhorns football coach shortly after he left his wife and three kids. Not sure why this guy is getting roped into the story, <laughs> unless his wife and three kids wrote the headline. Still with me? Here we go. Miss Assassinowski happens to have an emotional support monkey. That's pretty hot, although it must be kind of tough to get the dollar into his little diaper. <laughs> okay, let's keep moving or our muscles will tighten up. Okay, we're almost there. Said support monkey was accused of biting a child. Fair game. It's not the kid's emotional support monkey. <laughs> get your own. And all of this happened at a Halloween haunted house that Pole Assassin set up in her yard. I bet it's fairly popular in the neighborhood. <laughs> hey, kids, you want a trick or treat at the church basement or the monkey owning stripper's house? <laughs> now that you understand all the elements of that headline, let's go back through it one more time. A stripper called Pole Assassin, who hooked up with the University of Texas Longhorns football coach shortly after he left his wife and three kids, is defending her emotional support monkey after it was accused of biting a child at a Halloween haunted house. <laughs> now that you've got it, I'm sure you're saying, Steve, that all makes sense. But is the monkey okay? <laughs> yes. They got him an emotional support stripper. Meanwhile, the Sonic the Hedgehog sequel is in production, and Idris Elba 
will play Sonic's friend Knuckles, the echidna, in the new movie. The movie's called Sonic the Hedgehog 2, but Idris calls it Second House. <laughs> Fans <laughs> were immediately excited to see if People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive 2018 would bring the sexy to the role, but all hopes were dashed when we found out that Idris Elba's Knuckles will not be sexy. And Elba insisted contractually, I cannot say anything, but I wouldn't say he was sexy. I don't think I'm going for that. <laughs> okay, but here's the thing. When you're Idris Elba, it doesn't matter what you're going for. It's gonna be sex. Okay, not that. Not that one. Ignore, ignore the last one. I don't know. A little bit. A little sexy. Well, if Elba's knuckles isn't gonna be sexy, that just means there's room in the marketplace for some lazy producer to swoop in and slap together the sexy Knuckles movie that people so clearly want. And I'm just lazy enough to slap it. Jim? Coming soon. He's so strong. He's the hero we need. He's so hot. So hot. To have sex with. Ladies, please. There's enough Knuckles to go around. <laughs> no, really. I'm an echidna. I have four penises. That's real. Look it up. <laughs> Sexy Knuckles. Coming soon. Pretty messed up, right? We'll be right back with Kenneth Branagh.